Hello, weary traveler. I see you've stumbled upon this video and been interested in the topic. Well, formal introductions first. My name is Josh, and I'm gonna be your video's host. Yay! Now, uh, as you can see, 2020 has not been the best year for us, and, but at least it sparked some good memes. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Probably not the best generation to be dealing with this. With this. With this. But let me tell you why 2020 has been a very bad year for us. Number one is the sparking of World War Three. You heard me right, folks. World War Three. Trump. What are you doing? Huh? Alright. Number two is the Australian bushfire. Yes, Australia got burned. Not in the slang way, you know, just literally burned. Uh, poor animals. And number three. Oh, the most heinous one of all. The Mexican beer virus. Yes, also known as coronavirus. So, for those who are openly uh, dismissing the fact that there's a pandemic happening outside, and uh, and you are advised to stay home and wear your masks, you know who you people are. Coronavirus or uh, COVID-19, if you're a nerd. <laughs> It is a family of vir viruses that are known to cause illnesses ranging from the common cold to the se more severe dis more severe stuff. Yes, like uh, Middle East Respiratory Syndrome or MERS for short, and uh, Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, SIRS for short. Uh, so, where did it all start you're asking me? Well, it started in Wuhan, China. Kind of makes sense since uh, some of the viruses that we already know started from China. As you can see from this uh, horrified face of this panda bear. China. So, uh, the only way the pandemic can spread all across the world is through direct and indirect contact. That be that the uh, uh, touching people who are infected or them touching you, which you should never let them do, by the way. Change of danger. Yeah. So, now that you're up to speed with the uh, whole information, you ignorant baby, it's time that we see how this, this thing has been affecting people. Yes. But, in order to do that, I needed to interview them. So, I didn't, because uh, that's social interaction and I don't support it. But, but, I came up with a brilliant idea that could solve this problem and make me more efficient. I sent them an email so they could uh, answer it themselves. I have a severe lack of confidence, okay? You don't have to judge me for it. <clears throat> so, I managed to get three people to, get, to answer my uh, questionnaire, as I would like to say it. But uh, their names will be, will be uh, not said, and their pictures will not be shown. I'm just gonna show random pictures that I found in the internet since, uh, yeah. But, uh, let's get back on topic, shall we? So, I'm gonna be explain- I'm gonna be telling you what they answered in the questionnaire on how the coronavirus affected their lives. So, let's start with the first one, shall we? First, we got from anonymous one. <coughs> the pandemic 
has been a little hard on me since uh, I just started my college year. Because of the pandemic, I'm having trouble in getting myself financially stable because of my rent, food, and bills. I have to pay since I live alone in an apartment. Well, that sucks, buddy. Never knew being a college student would be so, uh, would be so burdening for you. Uh, I really hope that you can get through this pandemic and through your college year and be able to pay off that uh, college debt you have after that. Yeah. Bicycle mistress, I say. Yes. So, on to the next. This is from Anonymous. Two. Ooh, different. It's a number number. Uh, <clears throat> I'm a mother of five children, and during this whole pandemic, it has been a rough time for me and my family. Considering the type of work I do, it's been hard to provide them with their necessities because of how the film I'm being paid. Yeah, I'm just gonna be really serious here. From my, from my experience of being a child in a family of five children, yeah, I. I could say that's a problem, seeing as uh, how little the parents are being paid, it's really a problem, right? Because because of this, because of this thing, a lot of people are getting fired, and then then and then if a lot of people are getting fired, the less they're gonna get paid, and and because of this, they need to put their money to taxes, which the taxes use to uh, find a cure for this. So, meaning, they get paid less and less. It really is a problem and we should, uh, should follow the rules the government has for us. I'm looking at you, America, huh? I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. Okay, enough of that, right? We're on to, uh, number three, the third person I told you. This one is a special guest. Uh, this is Anonymous Three. So. Um, let me just read it out for you. Uh, Anonymous 3. Ahem. <clears throat> I'm just a kid, so I don't really get affected by the pandemic that much. That's it. That's the whole answer. Well, I guess it's, it kind of makes sense. It's, it's a kid. Like, kids are ignorant to the world, I guess. Because they don't really understand what's happening. That's another problem, man. Eh? If you're gonna be lying to your kid, like, nothing's happening outside. It's all safe, and, but you just have to stay inside. Do not lie to your kid. Right? That's bad. That's bad parenting. You should tell them everything. Don't lie. Even if it's very morbid, like that. Now that you know how the coronavirus affected the people, it's time for us to, uh, learn the moral lesson, quote unquote, of this video. So, let me tell you, the takeaway of this video is drumroll, pre please. Wear your mask and stay in, right? Yeah, that's the takeaway. So, now if you'll excuse me, I'm just gonna be uh, going down and play some Among Us. Okay, okay, so in all seriousness, uh, the coronavirus is a really serious thing and you should really respect the rules that has been given to you by the government so you could uh, help other people avoid this total mess. I mean, look at me! I'm wearing a mask and I'm inside my house! That's how protective I am! And I don't even go outside, I stay in this room for most of my time here. Just going on classes lying down my bed and uh, nothing else really. So, please, for the love of God, stay inside, wear your masks, and don't talk to strangers because it's bad. You might, you might get shanked in an alleyway. So, without further ado, I'm gonna call this video to its end. Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys later. Roll the credits!